Okay, hey man, we live. This is Sarge. This is your boy here at Adam Mac Harley Davidson Bay Meadows Boulevard here in Jacksonville, Florida. And guess who I got with me today? I got a legend. I got a highway legend with me today. I got Miss Cynthia Franklin with me, aka Snacks. She's blessed us. She's done her I-10 to the end. Real easy for a person in her uh, her ilt and how she gets down. So I'm gonna let her talk to us a little bit about what she just did. She came from the left coast, the left coast edition on her. So I'm gonna let her introduce herself a little bit to you guys, tell you a little bit about her ride, and then we're gonna do this real interview later on. So this is the part one of our first initial get down. So uh, Miss Franklin, thank you for being here in Jacksonville. Thank you for participating in this ride, ma'am. Thank you for having me and uh, thank you and uh, the whole Iron Elite. Um, for hosting this ride. Awesome, awesome. It was a pleasure. So if you could tell us a little bit, were you riding for any other reason other than just to tend to the end, just to show us how to do it, or did you have some other reasons you were making the ride? Um, the reason why I was making the ride is I like to, I like to be able to demonstrate mm -hmm. um, what I'm doing, what I, you know, this is how I do things. Mm -hmm. um, but this time it was a little more personal, you know, for awesome. Becky. Shout um, out to Becky. Man. Yeah, much love to Becky. Um, so it was a little more personal mm -hmm. uh, for me this time. So I wanted to make sure that I did it. I was there for hers um, when she came through. Awesome. But yeah. Awesome. Okay, okay. Well, also, okay, so you're coming from the West Coast yep. on this. So your route. You had to come from, because you're based out of Texas, am yep. I correct? The DF dub. Okay. So, yeah, um, I took 40 out. Mm -hmm. um, I left, I stayed in San Bernardino on Friday night, Saturday morning, got up early, um, took the picture in Santa Monica, and then hit the 10 to the end. My goal was to just get here safely mm -hmm. and have fun. Mm -hmm. um, so, I decided I was not going to ride at night. And no, when I saw stuff, <laughs> when I saw stuff I wanted to see or do, I was going to do it. So yeah. uh, immediately I said, no iron butt this time. <laughs> there you go. We're in vacation mode, kind of. Vacation mode, That's yeah. Right. I just, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Fun riding. Uh, speaking of vacations, I saw, this is what I saw. You pulled, was this close to San Antonio area when you went to, where'd you go? Yeah, it's, it's close to San Antonio. Um, Reef hit me up when mm -hmm. I said I was doing the 10 to the end. He's always good for great. Reef finds everything. <laughs> yeah, he's always good for great recommendations. Yeah. And he says, hey, Stonehenge. Mm -hmm. And I looked at it, mapped it. I was like, yep. Mm -hmm. So I was actually very surprised. I thought it was literally just going to be a rock and you take a picture kind of like in uh, Europe. Mm -hmm. But beautiful lake. Mm -hmm. um, I think I posted a video of you the did. lake and Beautiful. just no mm -hmm. no sound and you could mm -hmm. hear the birds mm -hmm. and the water. That was so peaceful. I spent about an hour there just relaxing, eating my chips. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Or my snacks, I should say. And I'm glad we're just talking about this real quick right now because for all my I-10 to the end riders, of course, we want you on the 10 and we want you to stay on the 10. But if it's approved in advance, and we'll talk about it in advance, if you come off the 10 for any reason, say to go see a historical site or something like that, we'll, we'll arrange those things previously to make sure wherever you get off the 10, you, of course you have to come back to the 10 and continue to ride because we still want you to see America if you get the opportunity to do so. So thank you that was, for sharing that with us as well. Yeah, you know what? And I also, um, when I put my map together, mm -hmm. it, it wanted me to exit uh, probably about three miles before I actually did exit, mm -hmm. but I bypassed that to get to the first exit past the place that I was going to do. Mm -hmm. So then it, it mapped me back to the Stonehenge. Mm -hmm. So when I got back on the freeway, I got off at 501. Right. I got right back on at 501. Just the next exit was 502. Mm -hmm. So instead of me skipping it and then having to turn around and come all the way back. I, just that easy, I'm telling you. The wonders of GPS, I'm telling you. Without it, <laughs> we'd be in trouble. <laughs> so. Yeah, I even use it, even though it's IT, I, I mm -hmm. use it for prompts. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all I do. I'm going to say this. If you get lost on the 10, 
You tried hard. <laughs> you, tried, you probably could, could go across the tin with a sheet of paper. It's no big deal to go across well, the tin. Well, in Houston, I almost maybe in Houston, I, I you actually could mess had to make a, a couple bit, of U-turns in Houston. Maybe mess it up a little bit in Houston, maybe a little bit in San Antonio. <laughs> you know? I accidentally got off to get gas at a place, and I was like, how do I get back on this freeway? <laughs> I think Houston don't bother me as much. San Antonio gets a little tricky for me sometimes. San you know? Antonio wasn't bad. Yeah. 35 to the 45. 35 uh -huh. um, is the Austin, San Antonio. Mm -hmm. 45 mm -hmm. is the Houston area. Mm -hmm. That stretch, mm -hmm. worst stretch of the entire I-10 in my opinion. Really? Yeah, yeah because there's so much construction.